the scrum master can very rarely do this, but I did this all the time when I played the scrum master role, right? Most of what you hear from your manager is feedback on how robust your software is. So you're constantly hearing feedback like, you should have written it this way, that would have been more robust, or you should have done it this way, that would have been more scalable. I wanted to provide the alternative feedback, which is like, I love fast engineers. I love engineers that are ticket closers and ticket crushers. And so in my sprint review meetings, I would literally show a pie chart of how many tickets each person closed. And I'd be like, Anant, you closed 40 tickets this week. Oh my God, I love you. Kiro, you closed 20 tickets. Amazing. And then you'd have everyone else who cl closed like, you know, single digit number of tickets, right? And like by simply creating sort of that reward system in a position of power. So my postmortems weren't just how did you do against your estimation? I'm like, how did everyone do in terms of closing tickets? And yeah, tickets aren't equal sizes. I wasn't suggesting that, but like it became a way for me to motivate what I cared about. And because I was in a position of leadership, people saw that and I provided the counterbalance that their engineering manager was mostly telling them how to make code more robust. And I'm telling them, Sacha values fast developers, and he clearly celebrates them in front of the peers in a weekly meeting. And so that was a way for me to build the culture I wanted within the organization.